Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Curves Adjustment Layer in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. And here I have the image to use on today's tutorial. And so the first thing that we're going to do is take and add the Curves Adjustment Layer. And so in order to do that go to the bottom of your Layers panel and click on the little black and white half circle there. And we're going to go up to Curves and click on that. So now if you go back to your Layers panel, uh, you'll be able to see that it has added the Adjustment Layer right there um, above your current layer. So basically what happened um, is if you have other layers, um, this Adjustment Layer is now affecting all of the layers below it. Um, so if you only want it to affect a specific layer, like say this tree picture, what you're going to do is hold Alt and then move in between the two layers and just click and it'll basically clipping mask it to that layer. So um, that's a little helpful tip. So in order to actually start using the Curves uh, Adjustment Layer, what we're going to do is click on this little icon here, this little histogram icon, and it'll open back up the adjustments. So what we're doing is basically in Curves, um, there are some automatic features. If you click on this little Auto button, uh, Photoshop will try and figure out what you want it to do, and so it'll kind of um, adjust it accordingly so you can see before and after on that. Um, but we're going for a little bit more of a custom feel, um, but it also has some other presets. You can go to um, up here where it has this little default drop down and go to things like color negative or strong contrast or things like that and it'll take and adjust it. Um, but what we're going to do is try and go for a uh, custom feel. So the way that Curves works is you can see this little histogram here and what that is is it's basically a representation of all of the pixels in your image. So um, basically you can see this little mountain shape here and that's showing the dark and light pixels and where they fall. You can see darkers over here and lighters over here. So the way that this works um, as you can see, there's kind of two triangles here If you, when you first open it because there's a line through the center. So the left triangle is basically if you move your line into that region, then you're going to be affecting um, the lighter pixel. So you're going to be lightening your picture. And if you move it down, you're going to be darkening it. And if you move any of your points further to the left, they're going to be darker. And if you move them further to the right, then they're going to be lighter. So it takes a little bit to get used to, um, but hopefully you can see what I mean. So one of the most common uh, things that you'll use in curves, um, it's called an S-curve. And so what you're going to do is take and just click on your line in order to make a point. And if you decide that it's somewhere that you don't want it to be, you can take and just drag it off and it will delete it. So just click and put a point on uh, your line and what we're going to do is take and drag the line down and so what we're doing is we're taking and darkening the image. And since what we're doing is affecting a channel, um, you can see that we have channels up here. We have RGB which is the master one and then you have red, green, and blue specifically. And so with the master one we're affecting the entire image. So we're basically making the in entire image darker. So if you ever need to darken an image, um, this is a pretty quick way to do it. So what we're going to do um, is just put that slightly underneath the line there so we're making it um, a little bit darker and then we're going to come up on the line and just take and raise that point a little bit above the line. You might have to tweak it a little bit in order to get it right. So what we're trying to do is kind of get an S shape right here. You can see it's an elongated S but it's kind of swooping around just like an S and so that's why uh, it's called an S curve. And so what that did is it basically increased the contrast because we made the lighter uh, pixels lighter and we made the darker pixels darker, um, such as contrast would. So what we're doing is you can see here's the beginning and here's the after. And so now say that we wanted to affect just a specific color. We wanted to take and add in maybe a little bit of red. So we'll go to the green channel and basically what happens is if you take out green, um, then you'll be adding in red. And so with these color channels, um, specifically with red and green, so if we're on green and we take out green, the picture is going to get more red. Now if we're on red and we take out red, then the picture is going to get more green. So by moving the line up over the into the top triangle basically, you're adding in more green and if you take it down then you're taking out green. So that's a pretty easy uh, way to remember it. So we can just take and take out a little bit of green so that way we bring in a little bit of red into our picture. So it's not much but it, it definitely changes the feel of your picture a little bit. So you can see here's the before and there's the after. And so it definitely has a nice um, warm feel to it now. So um, basically I told you that the red and green um, were kind of inverses of each other. The blue one, um, you have to be careful with the blue one, just tweak it a little bit. And a lot of times when you mess with blue, you'll have to affect the green and red a little bit to balance it out. It doesn't really have an opposite that just um, that makes it 
fix if you um, just do the inverse. So you have to play around with the blue a little bit in order to get it to look right, but um, adding a little bit of blue into some pictures can really give a different feel. Um, so that's pretty much it with curves. Um, there are a couple other tools I just want to talk about, but this is a pretty awesome uh, tool. I use this all the time in my stuff. Um, basically, I would encourage you to use this on some of your images because like this is a, a decent image in the first place but after you play with curves for a little bit you start to uncover things about your image that you didn't really know existed and it, it's a lot of fun um, so I would encourage you to play around with it um, because it's a really good tool within Photoshop so there are a couple of other tools that I wanted to mention um, the first one is this little pointer tool so basically you can click on that and what this does is say that we wanted to darken this blue just click on the blue and then move your mouse down while you're holding it and it'll just take and make it darker and the same way in reverse if you move it up it'll make that value lighter um, so it basically allows you to select any specific color within your image and adjust it and it'll take and automatically do the curve for you um, and then what you have down here are some eyedroppers and so you can take and click on this top one which is basically um, it allows you to set what's called a black point so say what you're gonna do is try and find the blackest point in your image and so maybe we want this tree trunk to be the blackest point so if we click on it it'll adjust the image in order to make that tree trunk black um, within the image and then what we can do is select this white one right here you can see there's a gray one in the middle and then here's a white one and then we'll select something like the clouds and so it'll make those clouds white and it'll make that tree trunk black and so now we have a pretty contrasted image um, so those might be helpful for for you uh, as well so I just wanted to mention those so um, that's pretty much uh, all I have um, you might want to look at these buttons down here this one makes that clipping mask like I was talking about and some of these other ones um, have some benefit but those are the tools that I was planning on going over um, so I hope you guys learned something again uh, curves is one of the things that I use all the time so it's definitely worth uh, checking out so don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.